yeah, I thought second half we were a lot better, especially on the boards, on the hustle plays. Uh, still a few letdowns defensively, but you know, they're, they're a good team. I mean, obviously 7-0, and held them to 59 points, well below their average. Um, you know, we out, ended up out-rebounding them by, you know, double figures, which uh, I think it was pretty even. It was even at halftime. So, you know, just those kind of plays were much better. Uh, obviously, we could have done a little bit better free throw line late in the game, maybe separate, separated a little bit early. But you got to give it to those guys. They, they really play hard. I, I love Coach Cam, and he's one of my favorite coaches. I've known him for a long time. Uh, one of our, the bright young coaches in our game, and he's got a really good team. They play hard. Uh, but yeah, down a stretch, we made the play, especially defensively, and um, and that's what uh, a good team's got to do. Uh, it seems like Hurst really uh, put Kale on his view with this team three-point shooting. So talk about that and how big that was. Well, Elise is a, a really good three-point shooter, especially when she gets hot. So, um, and I thought early on she had a couple of really important ones for us. I thought she had a pretty good game. Really good game all the way around. Uh, she's struggled sometimes with her ball handling. Um, I thought tonight made good decisions, didn't turn it over against some pretty good pressure. And uh, I'm really happy for her, you know, happy for her. It seems like there's times with this team, maybe because of the injuries, that the players on the floor are trying to figure out who's going to score, who wants to take a shot. That step back she made late in the third when you guys, you know. Late, late shot clock. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what uh, the important players do. You know, they make those baskets in key moments. And, um, yeah, I'm just really happy for her. I mean, she's, she's had uh, uh, a few games now in a row where she hasn't been maybe at her best. And so we needed it tonight, and she came up big. Uh, I thought her and Maddie both did a pretty good job, um, you know, at the, at the guard line for us. Because, you know, they change their defenses all the time. So you never – you can't get a beat on what they're doing. And so the first thing I put on the board tonight, offensive keys, you just got to be a baller. You got to figure this out. We can't be robots and just run a play because they change their defenses so much. And I thought our kids really adjusted. It took till the second half, but you play a 40-minute game. So um, that'll end up being a good win. That's a team that could be in the NCAA tournament later on. Um, so I'm just, I'm just really happy. And, and you know, final exams. I mean, that's, that's it's a tough week for these kids. And, you know, and I get it. They have finals next week, so I'm sure they're studying too. So I never use it as an excuse. I'm just using it as a pat on their backs. I thought they did a great job. We had uh, four of them yesterday had to leave practice early for an exam on a Friday afternoon. Now, what professors are scheduling <laughs> final exams on the last day in the afternoon? How about them? I won't say anything, though, to them. They're student athletes, I get it. But it just goes to show you, they, they were thinking about it through the whole week, and uh, so I'm really proud of them. Contributions of Shania, she seems to give you a lot of energy both ends, and then any impressions of, of Hosen Dove? Uh, yeah, she got her feet wet. Yeah, Taylor got her feet wet. I'm glad she got in. Uh, I was really happy that the NCAA did the right thing and granted her uh, eligibility. I mean, I, I just don't understand why you penalize kids anymore. I think, that, you know, come on, let them play. Uh, if they didn't want to be at a school, let them go. I mean, we, we can all, you know, if we don't like this restaurant, we can go to the other one next door and they don't penalize us or anything. You know, give them free choice. So they did it. I'm happy for her. She'll play more. She just uh, really hasn't, you know, she's been playing against us every day. You know, she's been on the, the male practice squad team. So she hasn't spent a lot of time, uh, you know, with her own teammates running our stuff. So she'll get more and more comfortable. I'm just glad she got in tonight. That's, that's nice. Uh, show and turn around. Uh, obviously, this would be a little bit what the season is like, especially with Pat. Yeah. So just how important it is to kind of, you know, rest and get ready for the Southern game on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and it'll be the same, same crew. We won't have any new players uh, for this next game. But uh, – McNeese State, I really haven't focused much on them. I watched one, one game, but I'll watch a bunch today and then more tomorrow. We'll be ready for them on Monday. But Coach Lynn is, uh, you know, from Oregon, and he's coached both at Southern Oregon and Portland State, so he's bringing his team back. Uh, they'll be formidable. They run, I think, a lot of zone from what I saw. So, you know, we're going to have to have a better shooting night tonight than we – or Monday than we did tonight.
It's like Bill Belichick says, one game at a time. We're only focused on now McNeese State. Um, but wink, wink, during uh, Pac-12 play, we'll spend early in the week uh, working on some concepts that we might see later in the week. I just told one of my secrets there. But since there's only a couple of you here, I don't know how widespread that's going to get. So, no, I think it's... I think it's really, it's really important you just go next game. You have to. I think when you start looking ahead, then that's where you get into trouble. And one of the things that I'm really proud of since I've gotten here is, you know, aside from the game here last week, we, we don't lose very often in a game where uh, we're supposed to win kind of thing. And, and I think that's because of our next game attitude.